Hello. It has been a weird couple of days. Um, Ani is teething again, we think. Well, she definitely is because she has a tooth poking through her fifth tooth, which has made her clingy and needy and just sort of difficult to do anything with <laughs> for the past couple of days. She seems to be a little bit better today now that the one tooth poked through. I hope it's just the one for now and the other's not coming in because her first birthday is in a couple of days and it would be nice just to have a happy baby on her first birthday. Um, and along those lines, we did not have any professional pictures of Ani taken at her birth because she was in the NICU and even though they allow a photographer, Laura and I just didn't want to risk it and decided to put it off. And then obviously when we got her home, we were still sort of nervous and didn't want to have anybody around and then before we knew it it was cold and flu season and the doctor was saying don't have anybody around and then obviously now we're in the situation we're in so we won't be having a photographer take her one-year-old pictures which had been our plan all along as well we'll just wait till she's one and get some professional pictures taken all of that to say it's a bit of a bummer but we're gonna try to do some kind of a photo shoot on her birthday we're not entirely sure yet um, taking pictures of her recently has been a bit of a struggle, which is fine. But oh, that said, we're going to have a couple different props planned and we're just going to do the best we can. So today in my video, I thought I would do a video record of me trying to make one of the props. The prop I'm going to do is using this box, which you might recognize from her birthday slash uh, Dia de los Niños gift. Um, I am going to try to make a cardboard one, like a 3D one, to put next to her. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I've got a permanent marker so I can draw what I'm going to do. I got scissors, but I'm thinking I'm going to use this box cutter more. Obviously carefully, Lauda took Ani on a walk. And it's almost her bedtime anyway. Apparently our dog sees something. And I have packing tape. So let me get this set up and we'll see what we can do. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is draw out a one, the size of kind of what I want this thing to look like, and then I'll cut it out using the box cutter, and I'll just duplicate it, and then I will cut out the other pieces. So, jumping in, let's draw the number one. If I don't like it, I always have the other side, so that's something. I should note, I'm not a particularly crafty person, um, so we'll see how this comes out. I also haven't decided exactly how I'm going to decorate it. Um, I've made one of these, I think I did it in high school as an art project with my initial. And that time it was paper mache. But I don't know that I want to commit to that kind of a project. It took a while and I think this would take a while too. So I might actually cut it out and then either try to paint it or maybe use wrapping paper. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this all plays out. Because I might also just abandon the project before it's even really done. Somebody asked me the other day if I was bummed that we couldn't have a professional photographer take pictures of Ani. And to some extent I am. That said, I feel like with cell phones and digital cameras and you can get pretty good pictures of kids these days without being a professional. Obviously the professionals would look better. I'm not saying they wouldn't. But... It is what it is. I am starting to realize that part of the benefit of paper mache would be you could easily sort of self-correct. I'm noticing as I'm cutting, I'm not doing a great job of following my line exactly. So we'll see what the final project is. I'm not gonna call it before I'm done. But. All right, so not too shabby. I feel like it might be skinny, but again, I'm just gonna wait and see. I'm gonna trace this and then cut that out and I will be back here when I'm done with that. Okay, I've got this one and that one, and they should be, yeah, they're not perfect, but they're pretty close. I think this will work. Next thing I need to do is cut these in between pieces. This part, I don't think it's gonna be very fun. Okay, so I've cut one of the box flaps off and I'm working on just cutting it to the lengths I need to fit the shape I need. And I'm hoping if I do one side first, the other side will be a little easier afterward, so I'll basically just have to attach it. 
Anyway, I line it up, I cut it where I need to, and in this case, this worked perfectly because that goes to there, and this little leftover piece is the exact size I need for here. It has been a few more minutes than I anticipated, but this is what we got so far. So obviously I've got the one, and it is coated all the way around. I just need to tape it to the back. All right, finished product. Let me lean back. Nothing special, but as you can see, it's pretty sturdy. So if Ani grabs it during the photo shoot, it should hold steady. Just need to decide how to decorate it. Hmm. I had gotten these streamers to decorate wherever we end up doing this photo shoot if we need them, but I think I'm gonna try to use them to decorate our one. Just don't know how yet. I have two sort of different thoughts in my head. One is to do like little puffs of streamer, but the easier way, if it works, I think is just to wrap it in streamer. So I'm gonna go with that first. Ooh, or I could do it kind of like a pinata. I really wish Lada wasn't putting Ani to bed because I could ask her. Okay, I have my decorator here. We have decided to do it. Pinata style. So we'll just chat while we decorate. I'll be your, your tape master. <laughs> have you ever done a big pinata before? Uh, yes, when I was in fifth grade. Oh, so it's been a while. Yes. Oh, no, wait. We did a pinata for your pre-K class. Oh, well, that's true. Um, what was it? Oh, that was just a balloon shape, though, wasn't it? Yes. So I'm going to just go around, okay? Yeah, I don't care. I've turned from the master to the helper. That's usually how it goes when we do projects, isn't it? <laughs> yes. If you'd been out here before, you would have become the master then, too. To be fair, you're a little better with your hands and like crafty type stuff than I am normally. How was your walk with Ani? Pretty good. It was just, um, started to get chilly at one point, so. Yeah, I don't know that I believe that. <laughs> well, again, <laughs> chilly for me. That's not very chilly, by the way. <gasps> True or false? put a blanket on Ani and that child is more my temperature than your temperature. She is so warm all the time and I'm yeah. freezing all the time. Even when she feels cold, she's, or even when we feel cold, she's warm. Which color do you think should be the nicest? Pink. They'll all be touching, won't they? Yeah. We'll show you some progress as we go. I don't really get what's happening, but like I said, the only pinatas I've ever made are just a balloon, and I feel like those are easier than 3D ang angular shape. Actually, this is the first time I do a pinata with tape. I know. We don't have glue. At least, I don't think so. If you'd already cleaned out your classroom, we'd have glue, but that's not until later this month. Mm-hmm. You already gave us the dates, too. Go and get our stuff. Yeah. End of the month, right? Mm -hmm. She twisted the streamer since you can't see what the problem is. Sorry. There it is. I was considering doing a pinata with like gift wrap, but it seemed like this would be easier because it's right. more malleable. In gift wrap? Sure. I, I saw a funny joke today. Really? Yeah. How do pickles celebrate their birthday? They relish it. Yeah. <sighs> I'm tired. I am. It's been a too. long week. Mm. Ani was needy yeah. and grumpy and teething. Mm. Wasn't she? Yes. Not to mention I had a lot of work. Yeah. And the baby did not let me finish most of it. <sighs> when she wanted you, she wanted you. Trying to leave that good part on the front. I you know, I was just trying to figure out what happened down there. It looks interesting. Uh, I'll fix it. I know. I was just trying to figure out what happened. It exploded. Oh dear. Explosive yeah. birthday. I know. I have birthdays work. I have sad news. What happened? I got pink, blue, and green streamers. Mm -hmm. I really wanted purple, but they didn't have any. 
Whose favorite color is purple? Mine. I know, I'm sorry. But you got your favorite color? I did. I almost didn't buy it in solidarity, but I figured that these three looked the best. Because the yellow they had was like a, it was a weird shade. We're just gonna make like a Cinco de Mayo kind of. So. You want to show progress? Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to fix this. Okay, so it wasn't just me. Yay! All right, we'll check back in when this is done because I have a feeling that this is not riveting movie magic. All right, we have a very rough approximation of a pinata that just needs its slits, right? You wanna show it off? Yes. I'm not really sure how well this is gonna work. We have not done this with the traditional method or the tried and true method, but I think it's a good start. All right, snip, snip, snip. We have a finished enough project. All said and done, we've put about an hour's worth of work into it, which is fine because if it doesn't work, we don't have to feel bad about wasting a lot of time. But are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Ah! So we'll see how it turns out as a photo prop. It may not work. It may work great. We'll find out when she turns. Uno. Oh, no. All right. Anything else? Nope. Bye.